Oh my god. <clears throat> Do we have to keep going? In this city devoid of life, you sense the presence of another. How do we have to keep going? The sorrow of a thousand thousand worlds weigh heavy, and yet you can walk on. We, we, we have to keep moving forward. We have to. If you need a push, I'll be right there behind you. themselves to pave the way for peace. We will never abandon our cause. <laughs> oh my God. While it is true that man succumbs all too often to anger and avarice, he may yet overcome his baser instincts through the forming of bonds with others. Is this supposed to stay here? And we for our part are glad indeed to be able to welcome oh. friends both old and new. Oh. Continue to serve as a beacon to others. <laughs> Let's finish this. Meet 
Tian. Here the path ends. There is no way to reach our nest. I told you. Resignation and acceptance reign in this place. The rejection of life by those who came to curse it. Those whose dreams were unfulfilled. Whose prayers were unheard. Whose labors were unrewarded. Hope cannot deliver you unto hopelessness. Our refuge is beyond you. Always has it been. Such is the nature of this place. You should have remained on a Theris. Struggle will avail you not, nor will it grant your comrades peace. Come, let me relieve you of your burden. You've suffered enough. We. Oui. Asm's magic. So long as our souls remain, you can use it to summon us back. But you mustn't. How do we make peace? That's why it's too soon for this to end. You must triumph. Drown Be safe, all of you, and come back. I am ever grateful. After all these years, is this the answer I was hoping for? So long as we remember, our fates remain ours to shape. Perhaps when our time comes to return to the star, we shall remember these few days we have lost. Do not squander it. The legacy I leave you. I'll find a way. remember but all this time i'm the one who had forgotten a right fool you've made of me hermes <laughs> and to add insult to injury i've been denied a sound rest forced to watch this clamorous show How shall I do this <laughs> oh come now it's been a gripping tale unbreakable bonds and noble sacrifice sprinkled with moments of levity to counterbalance the pathos it's got it all. <laughs> I, for one, would have been perfectly content to watch Enraptured from the stalls. Oh my god. <laughs> but I won't say no to a bit part. What are you? Half-faded souls of the dead. Isn't it painfully obvious? <laughs> Worry oh not. God. We haven't the power to defeat you, nor is it our duty to do so. Not anymore. <laughs> that being said, we do have a score to settle. So here I am, Venar. 
I suppose you needed me to tie it all together, these frayed threads of our history. But knowing you, I suspect there's a joke in it too. <laughs> oh yes, I can imagine you gloating over my forgetfulness. <laughs> Were I feeling charitable, I might assume you had left room for the possibility of this outcome. Even so, you'll get no applause from me. A single gesture will not lighten the burden I've had to bear. Still, you must be commended. Our methods would not have brought mankind this far. And so, as a show of respect to the last of us, I make this declaration. <laughs> you will not end our journey. <laughs> that is our answer. The answer of all lives of Atheris, past and present. <laughs> As you've called us to the stage, so shall we perform. And creation magics never fail to please. Drawing upon the hopes of your comrades, we will make for you a <laughs> new path. What form said path takes depends on you. So focus, focus, and envision that which rejects the claim that you cannot attain your goal. Ours is the wisdom to weave the fabric of reality. Ours is the power to create. Though I gave you these wings to soar the heavens, uh -huh. I did not teach you how to walk the earth. Uh -huh. So loath was I to bind another living being. In the course of your long journey, you will learn from those you meet. Learn to walk, uh -huh. to run, and so much more. A flower. Yes. Upon your return, oh. I will gift you a beautiful flower. <laughs> These oh Alpus blooms serve as proof that this realm is not utterly devoid of hope. No more can you deny its power. No more is yours the dominion of despair. In case the practical implications were lost on you, your comrades no longer need fight their fight. So go on. Call them back to your side. <laughs> Disappointing. <laughs> Not even a single scar in the making to brag about. Are you freaking toy? <laughs> <laughs> You'll find a way regardless. 
Honestly, this is far more than any of us could have hoped for. Let us be thankful. <laughs> Indeed, that we thus stand reunited is a gift. Let us not squander it and see that we all return to Etheris. Aye, as soon as we've averted the final days. <laughs> oh my God. Good to see you again. Our heroic sacrifice paid off, I take it. <laughs> Come, my friends. Let us carry on and finish it. Together. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> We're here to save you. Come with us, Mithion. Way is open. They can proceed. So it seems. <laughs> You're leaving. Of course. The encore is finished. <laughs> and I will not suffer myself to live again by Heidelin's magic. <laughs> but more than that, the future you seek is not the past we loved. That is why we fought, and why I lost. But though you defeated me, my ideals are inviolate. Invincible. Spare me your pity. <laughs> I have no use for it. If you would do something for me, save our star. <laughs> See this tale to a triumphant conclusion. And with elation in your hearts, bid the final curtain fall. Only then may it rise again, and a new tale begin. With new parts for all to play. <sighs> Tell me. Have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the Bounty? Or the treasure islands beyond the frozen waters of Blind Frost in Offerhut's North? <laughs> the fabled golden cities of the New World, 
the sacred sites of the forgotten people of the South Sea Isles. What about Mericidia, the southern continent? Do you know aught <laughs> of its present state of affairs? <laughs> I thought not. Even of your little Eorzea, you know precious little. The true identities of the Twelve, for instance. All of which is to say, expand <laughs> your horizons. Go forth and seek discovery. Some of the civilizations in the reflections will surprise you. <laughs> As the bearer of Azem's crystal, you may consider your duty to see at least that much. <laughs> oh? I certainly did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I pray we meet again. If not in this life, then perhaps another. Whensoever it should be, I trust it will be a most joyous reunion. For you, maybe. I want <laughs> nothing to do with it. Oh, my God. Oh, don't be that way. as the ancients may be, they were people not unlike us, the first people to fall and feel pain, and first forced to find a way to rise again from what we have come, and in our pain and suffering, we are connected. I can't claim I fully understood the workings of this place, but in the moment, I felt I knew what I needed to do. I felt that it was the right time to offer up this life my I owe. That I could risk it all on the wager that the rest of you would vanish without me. Well glad am I to see that I was right. No need to explain. I had a rough idea of what happened while I was gone. It was a strange feeling, as though I struggled in a pitch black sea. A powerful tide was trying to wash me away. One that churned with hatred and envy for life. And it was all I could do to swim against it. Then suddenly, I was here. It felt long and short at the same time, hazy as in a dream. But through it all, one thing was crystal clear. You fought with all your being to keep our hopes alive. For all the lives on those stars whose light hath been extinguished, for the ancients who went before us, I offer a solemn prayer to go and see all those places and more. Emmet Silk has given you quite a task. Suffice it to say, I should be glad to assist you once we return together triumphant, of course. <laughs> oh my God. Tis my fervent hope 